Hello and welcome to Forex.Academy, the number one website for Forex and crypto education and analysis. In today's edition, we are going to be discussing the key principles of leverage and margin. There are two main ways that retail Forex traders are able to have enough financial capacity to access the spot retail Forex markets in the United Kingdom. One is to spread bet, which is classed as gambling and where you would bet on a currency pair going up or down and where you pay no income tax on your winnings. The other way is to trade contracts for difference, otherwise known as CFD. Your winnings are subject to capital gains tax and any losses can be offset against taxable income. Therefore, a trader with a fairly modest trade account of £1,000 is able to effectively borrow or control up to 30,000 units of the base currency, or £30,000 in order to trade the pound against the US dollar. This also depends on the pair's exchange rate. In GBPUSD, where the pound is the base currency, a base currency has more value than the counter currency on a unit by unit basis. Based on this example, this would equate to approximately £3 per pip movement while trading in GBPUSD. Should the trader decide to take on the maximum allowed leverage ratio of 1 to 30 while using 3 mini lots per trade, 100,000 units is equal to 1 standard lot, 10,000 is 1 mini lot, and 1,000 is 1 micro lot. But it wasn't always like this. Due to the high number of novice retail traders losing all their deposited funds just after six months of trading, leveraged CFDs were restricted in 2018 by the European Securities Market Authorities. This was done in order to protect retail CFD forex traders. The ESMA imposed limits on regulated brokers who provide retail CFD forex trading of 30 to 1 for major FX pairs and 20 to 1 for non-major pairs. Before this, brokers were able to offer leverage of up to 1 to 500. Therefore, Leverage provides traders with the ability to trade large amounts of currencies for very little outlay. However, leverage is a double-edged sword, because by its nature it can greatly help to amplify winnings, but it also can increase the risk of substantial losses. One of the biggest reasons why retail traders lose their money is due to lack of understanding and the misuse of leverage. Next we will look at margin. A margin requirement is the amount of capital in an account that will be set aside in the form of a deposit by the broker in exchange for leverage each time a trade is opened. Margin is calculated by the trader's level of leverage, therefore it can fluctuate up and down. Also, the more open trades, the more margin will be set aside by the broker. Should traders open too many trades or their accounts start to incur losses, they are more likely to receive a margin call from their broker as they approach their margin limit. This would only happen in the event that the overall account position was running at a loss, assuming that there was more than one trade open. If traders ignore margin calls, they run the risk of their trades being closed out by the broker. For example, a trader wishes to buy the euro USD with an account size of 1000 euros and buys one mini lot of 10,000 units with a leverage of 1 to 30. His or her margin is calculated as 10,000 divided by 30, which equals 333. Therefore, the trader's margin for that trade would be 333 euros. If the trader loses money on the trade and comes close to the required margin in their account, they would face a margin call or request to add further funds into the account. If the trader refused or neglected to do so, the broker would close the trade on their behalf. Typically, a trader's platform will show a running profit and loss in the form of account balance and fluctuating equity. This will differ if trades are open. The margin being taken up by open positions, free or available margin, and margin level shows as a percentage. Leverage and margin requirement differ from one asset class to another, but consistency and careful risk management is essential while considering how to factor these into your trading. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and comment down below if there's anything you'd like us to cover in future, or if you would like to discuss the topics we have covered. Have a great day.